Hey y'all, Miss Brown here, your favorite eighth grade science teacher. Okay y'all, here is what we are doing on Thursday, November 12th. I am at home teaching, wasn't feeling very well, so I wanted to make sure I got a test, make sure I don't have COVID and I can keep everybody safe. So I had WebEx this morning, so if you were able to jump on, you already know what's going on, but this is more for my people that maybe were absent or need a refresher or have questions. So today is Thursday, November 12th. So the first thing y'all are gonna click is the counting atoms key. And this was page 25 in your journal and y'all had to do this yesterday in class. So I wanted to post a key so that way you can check your answers. You want to do this prior to <clears throat> moving on because if you got stuff wrong, you don't wanna start today's lesson until you kind of know exactly what's going on. So let me actually get rid of that and let me zoom in. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, perfect. So what you have to do here is you have to count the number of elements. So how many capital letters do you see? I see a K, an N, an O. So that's why I have three elements. K is potassium, its Latin name is calium, K-A-L-I-U-M, which is why it's a K. No subscript means one, so I have one calium atom. Then N is nitrogen, no subscript means one, so I have one. And y'all, the way that I think about this is in math class, you have two plus two equals four. Exponents are like superscripts, they're the same thing. We don't write two to the first power, two to the first equals four to the first because we don't need to. So it's the same thing. If you just have the element name or symbol and no subscript, it's automatically assumed that it's a one. And then oxygen, it's a little hard to see zoomed in, but oxygen, I have a subscript of three, O3. So that means that there's three oxygen atoms, which means I literally have three oxygen <laughs> Okay, y'all, back at it. So like I was saying right here, which one was I talking about? This one, O3, the little subscript three means that I have three atoms of oxygen right next to each other. So that's why right over here, I have O3. And then this last column, y'all, is the total number of atoms. So one plus one plus three equals five. And that's it. Um, I would love it if y'all could kind of practice what these symbols are. For example, potassium, nitrogen, oxygen, find it on the periodic table. It's definitely super helpful if y'all know what each of these um, element symbols are because y'all really should know the first 20. Okay, so now this one was a challenge and I kind of wrote this one out to make it easier for y'all to see. So what I like to do is I like to start with the inside first and I completely ignore what's on the outside. So let me get rid of this and get my pen back. So for example, I have Al2SO43. So I have Al, just to make it a little more clear, al 2 s O, four, parentheses, which means distribution, and then a three. And then I have a big three here, but I don't want to focus on that yet. So I have two aluminum atoms because of the subscript two. S, I would normally have one, right? Because no subscript means one, but I'm going to distribute this three. So technically one times three is three. So I have three sulfur atoms. And then once again, typically I have four, but I'm also gonna distribute this three to the four. So now I have four times three oxygen atoms. So I have 12 oxygens. And then what this three does here is it tells me I have three sets of this molecule. So for example, and y'all this is not going to be an amazing drawing, obviously. So for example, if I have SO4, okay, so let's say I have four oxygens, and then I have one sulfur, put the sulfur there, and then I have two aluminums. So let's say that is the molecule. 
Each of these lines represent a chemical bond, so these atoms are bonding. So let's say this is AlSO4. Then what this 3 does, and I'll do it in green, what this 3 does is it means that I have three sets or three groups of these. So I would draw this whole molecule two more times. So then you go back after, and after I have each of my numbers, then I go back and I distribute that. So three times two would really be six aluminum. So now I have six aluminum. And then I would do three times three sulfur. So now I have nine sulfurs. And then last but not least, I would do the same thing with the O's, the three times 12 O's. So now I have 36 O's. So that's why I wrote all of those there and then added them up for a total of 51. Okay, y'all, I hope that part was helpful. Let me erase this. And then I'll tell y'all what you're doing today. And the reason that I spent so much time going over this is because y'all are gonna need this in order to do the next part. So now that we can figure out how many atoms are in each formula, which is what these are, we're gonna now combine the formulas into chemical equations. So just like math, two plus two equals four, you have two of these different chemical compounds combining to make a whole new one. So we'll talk about that next. So here's what you're gonna do for today. You're gonna go correct page 25, which is what we just did, and then you're gonna complete page 26 and 27 in your journal. So it looks like this, and it's called Balancing Equations Worksheet. So what y'all are gonna do is you are going to complete each side of this worksheet or of this equation, and then you are gonna see if it is balanced. So the first thing I like to do is I like to separate because you know that that is the yield sign, which means, let me erase this. I don't know why I won't let me erase it, y'all. Oh well, no worries. So this right here is the yield sign. So this is like saying two plus two equals four. So this right side is called the products. And the way that I think about this is product is like the final product. It is the end thing. It's your final poster. It's the car at the end of the assembly line. And then the right side, I'm sorry, the left side is called the reactants. And the way that I think about this is the reactants react to make the final product. And then in the middle is the yield sign, which is pretty much like the equal sign. So what I do for this is you distribute. So two times two would be four, so I would have four oxygens on the left side. So I like to just put the elements down the middle and then I write on the left what's on the left and what's on the right what's on the right. And then now this says O2, so I know I have two oxygens. Now I'm gonna switch colors to show that I'm doing the product side. So now two times two is four, so I have four hydrogens. And then this two also distributes to this O because there's no plus sign or anything separating. So I would have two oxygens. Sorry, y'all, I ran out of room. So then now to see if it's balanced or not, you simply check to make sure you have the same on each side. So if I have four hydrogens on the left, I should have four on the right, so that's good. And if I have two oxygens on the left, I should have two oxygens on the right, and I do, so that's good. So then I would just write balanced. So that way I know this one is balanced. And like I said, y'all, balance means what's on the left is what's on the right. And then y'all will keep going down through this exactly the same. Let me scroll down. And then the only tricky part, y'all, is when you get to some of these types. So when you get to one of these, let me see if I can zoom in. Perfect. This, like I say, y'all, I always want you to section this off first just to make sure there's no parentheses, anything you need to do, this one looks good. So now I can distribute. So three times two is six, so I would have six hydrogens. There's no plus sign, so I also distribute this two to the phosphorus, so I have one phosphorus. And then same thing, I distribute to the oxygen. So two times four is eight, so I have eight oxygen. And then over here, I do the same exact thing. Now, here's the trick. If you see the same element in two spots, then you need to add them together. So I have four and two. So technically on the product side, I have six hydrogens. Then here I have two phosphorus, I have seven oxygen, but I have another oxygen here. 
So I need to add my seven from here and my one from here. So now I have eight oxygen. And then like I said, I have two phosphorus. So then I do the same thing on this side. I check to see, do I have the same amount? I have six hydrogen, six hydrogen, cool. I have eight oxygen, eight oxygen, cool. Right here, I made a mistake. I said that there was only one, but remember, we need to distribute. So if I distribute that to that, technically I really have two phosphorus. So that's why you gotta just slow down, double check your work. So two and two, so yeah, this one's balanced as well. So that's what I want y'all to do. I want you to just go through both sides, both pages, and do all of those problems. Um, why do you have to have equations balanced and try to think of that? It has something to do with conserving mass. And then don't forget to answer these two questions. Which side are the reactants and which side are the products? Okay, let me hop back here. So after you do page 26 and 27, you will then do page 28, which is a little quick review. And the one little thing that I want to point out is right here, when I'm asking the question about how many atoms of carbon, I'm pretty much almost like I'm talking about, and I don't know if it's going to let me annotate more, y'all, let me see. I'm talking about without this four. So without this four, how many carbon atoms are there? And without this four, how many oxygen atoms are there? And then right here, I want to know how many molecules. So you look at the coefficient for that. And then go tell me how many molecules, how many elements, and how many total atoms. And then you're done, y'all. I want you to make sure that you submit your work. So I wanted to make super sure that I was clear. Upload pictures of page 26, 27, and 28 to your slideshow. And when y'all do that, then you are done. Um, tomorrow we can chat. I can post keys for what we did today, and we'll wrap up topic two and get started on topic three. Bye, y'all. Love you. See you hopefully soon, and you fill my buckets each and every day. Adios. Aloha. Sai Chen. Avida Zen. <laughs> Bye, y'all.